All right, it's X-Force. This uh, team kind of showed up uh, to take the place of the New Mutants book. Uh, it was drawn by Rob Liefeld, who um, is a good artist if you don't look closely. I think that's my opinion anyway. I don't like his art very much when you start really looking at the details. Uh, they're real weird sometimes, uh, especially his feet. I don't think he ever drew feet well. And he really likes pouches and guns, which is fine. But, you know, that's not why I read uh, X-Men comics. But nonetheless, I do think the team has got some cool stuff in it. So let's take a look at the back of this. So let's see. It says, created by Cable out of the remnants of the New Mutants, X-Force is unlike other X-Men teams who focus on reacting to villain schemes and protecting the innocents. Following Cable's philosophy of get them before they get you, the X-Force is an aggressive team who actively attacks evil mutants every chance they get. Pulling together the powers of an eclectic group of mutants, they could deal with any challenge that comes their way. I bet. All right. Let's open the sucker up and let's take a look at what we have here. They're basically the edgier X-Men team, essentially, which, you know, they came out of time when everything was kind of getting edgy in comics. And... Uh, so I guess they wanted a team to fit with that, and that's where we got X-Force from. It sounds like maybe I'm being down on X-Force, and I, I don't mean to, because uh, I do think that they're cool at this point. It just took me a while to enjoy what they had going on. Specifically, I think it took a Rob Liefeld getting away from it. <laughs> I really have a thing, uh, as you can tell. Okay, so their rules pamphlet is just a double-sided thing, so nothing too crazy going on in here as far as extra rules. Let's take a look at the locations. I don't know if we'll know the locations for X-Force very well, to be honest with you, but Murder World. Oh yeah, that is the villain arcades thing. He creates a uh, theme park that is designed to kill superheroes. Strife Secret Base. Strife is an interesting one. Uh, Morlock Tunnels, where a group of mutants who uh, were completely shunned by society because they often did not look very good, uh, ended up living. Uh, Adirondack Mountains. I don't know what goes on there, but something surely does. Okay, so here is our Strife villain card. And if I remember right, Strife is like basically a clone of some sort of cable. I don't know if that's quite right. He might be like a different version or I'm, I'm not sure how they're connected other than they at least look identical. So again, not the best of my New Mutants knowledge. So uh, I take everything I say with a grain of salt as far as that goes. Let's look at some of the cards over here. We have our Strife cards. These are big bad. Domino. Domino is a really cool character design. I really like her a lot. Um, I think her deal is she's, isn't she just like really lucky or something? I don't remember. She has some kind of bizarre uh, power like that, but she's, she's awesome. Cannonball. Can fly through the air like a rocket and is pretty invincible while he's doing so, but he doesn't have amazing control over where he goes. Um, Shatterstar. Oh boy, he is from the same, he's from the Mojoverse like Longshot is, uh, who I'm more familiar with, but I don't know if anyone else is. But he's like, you know, Edgelord version of that. And here's Cable being all pouchy and gunny. Patches and guns, patches and guns, and a glowing eye. Pouches and guns. That's cable for you. All right. <laughs> I'm probably making somebody really mad. Sorry. All right. Um, Strife. Here he is. He has a lot of crazy armor on him. That's Strife's deal uh, as far as his look goes. We have Shatterstar. Looking all mean and angry. We have Cable. Lots of patches and guns. And um, here's Domino if I can get her out. Let's see. Domino's neat. All right. I do like Domino quite a lot. And then we have Cannonball blasting through the air. Pretty neat overall. So, all right. That is our X-Force box. A lot of fun stuff in there. Not necessarily my favorite X-related thing, but uh, I do still like them, so there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe and click the little bell icon so you can know about the next time I put out a video. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all around the table again at All Games New and Old. Bye.
If you like that video, you have no idea how much I respect your wise and intelligent opinion. And you might like this video. Or this one. Either way, if you want to go ahead and click this button to subscribe, we'd really appreciate it. We'll see you around the table. Bye. Bye.